Okay, so I just got back from the gym right now. I just got out the shower, got on my little robe. Yo, I haven't been knowing how to act in my little robe. Like, <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. Like, I just feel like my self-worth just went from like here to like here. Let's be, let's be honest, let's be honest. But anyways, just got out of the shower. Um, I'm about to actually make me a meal. Um, I think I'm going to just make tacos because I've been saying I was going to make tacos for a minute now and I haven't. So I'm going to go ahead and make some tacos. But I don't eat meat. I only eat seafood. So I'm making plant-based tacos. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. It's going to be impossible. Ooh. This say sell user freeze by. Oh, I'm about to say it's about to expire. I just bought this. But I guess I gotta put it in the freezer because I'm not about to use this whole thing. But yeah, we's making plant based tacos. I actually only have sharp cheddar cheese. I don't have any more like Mexican cheese or Kobe Jack. Um, that's shredded. So we use the sharp cheddar today. Okay, y'all. So these are my little seasonings I'm about to use. Um, I have another pack of this. I might need another one because this one's like pretty low. But I have another one, so it's okay. And I bought the wrong one because I actually hate the original. I like mild, but no, no, no. I didn't buy the wrong one on accident. They didn't have it. They didn't have mild. That's why I have original. This is kind of like the most ghetto thing ever. This little Ziploc bag that my twitch is in is actually a bag. What came in? I think my lingerie I ordered came in this. But I ain't had no music like that, so you gotta do what you gotta do. I literally ran out of onions. I have never made like ground beef with no onions, but we're gonna do it today. We're gonna do it today, and yes, I'm calling this ground beef. <laughs> this is my ground beef. so tired uh, it's 6 30 in the morning if it was up to me my light would still be off y'all it's a rainy day outside too it's a rainy day let me show y'all see the rain you see that wetness you know 
there's though people who be like, oh, I love rainy days. Like, so nice. I'm not one of those people. I don't hate it per se, but I would rather not go outside in the rain. Like, I don't want to be wet. Luckily, they have an umbrella. But y'all, I just woke up because I actually have to start my day right now. I have to get ready to go in um, to work. Um, update for you guys. I did actually get a job as a social media manager. Yeah. I'm so happy because I actually did find like a job in like the field that I'm in. But what I don't like is having to wake up this freaking early. But it's kind of a plus anyway because like I said that like I wanted to try to start waking up early. Like 6 a.m. type. But this is kind of like forcing me into it. And I didn't mean I want to wake up early at 6 a.m. to go to work. I meant I want to wake up at 6 a.m. to go to the gym. So there's a difference. So now... It's kind of been affecting my little workout schedule because now I have to go at night unless I want to wake up at 5.30 in the morning, which I don't. But maybe I'll get there, but we're not there yet. So I pretty much have about like 30 minutes to get out the house. See, I really supposed to be waking up earlier because I really only got like 30 minutes to get out the house. And this is what happens to me like normally, like I'll be snoozing my alarms because I just be wanting to sleep. I haven't had like an actual commitment to something in years. Like I haven't had a real job in years. I don't even know if I still consider this a real job because like I don't even go in for that long. Like I'm literally going probably only going, uh, blah, blah. I'm probably, see it's too early. I'm probably only going to be in there for about maybe four hours, three hours. It really been between like three to five hours, but like my average is like three to four. Five is very slim. Cause I, all, all I do when I go in there is go in there and record content for his business, make the content, post them on to TikTok shop, all that type of stuff. And yeah. All right, but let's get up because I don't have that much time left. And I think today I'm going to dress to like the weather. I need to take this quick weave out immediately. Literally even like this is coming up. That's how you know it's time. I'm gonna use my Shea Moisture Bar to do to wash my face today because for the last few days I've been using my Aveeno. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch off to this today. Fun fact, did you know that you're supposed to wash your face for a whole minute? Yeah. One zero zero one minute of doing this to your face to have clear skin make sure y'all clean y'all tongue that's how y'all be having those white tongues Clean your tongue. Get you a tongue cleaner. I have about seven minutes to finish getting dressed. Make me a coffee and get out of this house. But we're gonna make it happen. So let me hurry up and find my little rain weather outfit and I'm gonna come back. Okay, I don't know if it's necessarily a rain outfit actually because I can't find like any of my leggings or anything. like. So jeans it is, I'm gonna put on these jeans. And then my little white bodysuit, if I can figure out where the beginning is. Okay. Okay, I'm back and I'm dressed. You can't even see my whole outfit, so there you go. 
Okay, now let me do my hair. This is what I do when I can't do my hair. This right here is my best friend. And ta-da, bitch. I might put on my little varsity jacket because it's actually very warm and I have an umbrella in the car. Okay, shoes, socks, let's put them on. See, today we're going for naturally pretty. Okay, I'm about to put my stuff in here real quick and then hurry up and get out of here. Strawberries and blueberries. And then I'm gonna bring my little Nutella packs. Alright, so I'm gonna just go downstairs. I'm gonna grab me a oh, I have a coffee cup. I have a coffee cup right here. I'm gonna grab my little cup and put some ice in it and some creamer and go downstairs and get some coffee and make me an iced coffee before I go because I don't have time to stop nowhere. This right here is good as hell. made me mad because they're literally out of coffee and out of hot chocolate out of everything and i just i just wasted my white mocha for no reason yo it's pouring i'm so happy i parked up front so i'm about to run i'm about to run ah! i literally just had to run because my umbrella is in the car but y'all I'm so mad because they out of the coffee, they out of hot chocolate. I just wasted all that time trying to film me getting some ice, trying to film me getting some white mocha. I don't even like to come out here with negativity, but that just made me mad. Cause I just, I'm so happy that I brought my water bottle because if I didn't bring my water bottle, I wouldn't have nothing to drink. And I wasted my white, my good white mocha. Like that's not cheap. Look at the rain y'all. The gloomy day. So I'm actually very much late, but that when I say it's not like a real, real job, because like he don't be pressing how late. Like I'm going in late, but he's not even there yet, so he wouldn't even know if I was late or not. But I pretty much like come and go when I leave. He just tells me like the range between like where to come. I can't record when I get there, but I will see y'all after on our little agenda. What we gonna do today? Normally in the mornings when I wake up, I do my Bible plan. Um, but on the days that I'm kind of like rushing like this, where I can't do my Bible, where I don't have enough time to do my Bible plan in the morning, I just listen to my podcast on my way to work or on my way to whatever I'm doing if I can't do my Bible plan. So I'm going to just listen to my podcast on the way there. Um, my favorite person to listen to in the morning is either Sarah Jakes Roberts or the Christian Bay either or they're like my favorite two to listen to this morning so oh look she just put one up too perfect guys hey y'all welcome to the christian Bay tv and podcast where christ and culture connects i just got off work i just got off work and uh, yeah he worked me today but it was like a good working he made me message like so many influencers today but it was a good day. So now I'm about to go home because I need to edit my own content. Okay, so like the only like, kind of just like a hard part is about being a social media manager and then also trying to create my own content and everything. It's literally, it's a nonstop thing. It's a literally nonstop. Hold on, oh, missed my turn again. Hold on, I'm hitting this U-turn. As soon as I get home, I'm about to go to edit some more stuff for myself and make some more content. But it's all going to be worth it in the end because 
even working with him even working where I am right now I've been like learning so much stuff that like I really didn't even know this is how you know God is good because I am underqualified for this job let's be real I am but God made me overqualified for this job and I feel like he put me here for a reason because I have been learning a lot while helping him with his stuff to be able to apply to my own so I'm truly grateful to be working here and I love it it's just a lot and I just had to change my schedule around to be able to do everything and still make time for my own stuff too because I don't want to neglect myself you know nobody said that it was going to be easy but it's going to be worth it so I'm going to just stay down for the struggle until it pays off I think this weekend I'm going to actually like plan like content and stuff better too because I kind of just been all over the place and just like making content and just posting it I feel like I need to actually plan out everything plan out the content and do a lot so this weekend that's what I'm probably going to do so this video might turn into like a spend the weekend with me um, doing some stuff because there is some other stuff I want to do too um, some little cute stuff that I saw um, I think I want to go and buy like these little like champagne bottles and then go and write like my goals on them and then whenever I accomplish that goal I'm gonna pop the bottle so it's like a little incentive to completing your goals so it's a lot of little stuff I might be doing this weekend so I'm just gonna bring y'all with me but okay so I kind of didn't update y'all throughout my day because it's just been so hectic, so busy, just me running everywhere, taking care of grown people stuff, taking care of grown people stuff. But I'm home. I didn't record me cooking, but I'm kind of like finishing up, in, up cooking right now. So I got some cabbage going right now. I got some cabbage going. I got some cornbread in the oven baking um i got me some catfish in the air fryer let's check on it it's not done yet i got me some catfish in the air fryer i got me some rice cooking because i'm gonna eat some oh the fall i got me some rice cooking because i'm about to um make some red beans and rice so i've been cooking I got some leftover red beans in here. I just gotta warm them up. Got me a good little southern meal. So yeah, I'm about to eat my food. Honestly, y'all, I think I might just wind down for the night because I'm actually super tired and I don't know how I'm still even like functioning properly right now or alive right now at this point. I just wanna unwind, eat my, eat my food, smoke a little bit watch Pretty Little Liars and relax my mind. So I will see y'all in the morning, I'm going to the gym in the morning. Hey y'all, so it is the next day and I just got ready right now because I'm about to take myself out on a date. Yes, I was gonna take myself out today, sit down with myself. I got all cute and stuff for me. <laughs> no, for real, I got all cute and stuff like for myself. So like, it feels good and like, I look fine. Like, <laughs> don't play with it. I'm about to go take myself out and then also I want to stop by Target because I want to get the little champagne bottle things I was telling y'all about because I do want to write some goals on there so that way I can have them set and then if I accomplish my goals I can pop a champagne bottle so it'll be super cute. But your girl's looking cute. I got all dressed for myself. Like don't play with her. Don't play with her. I'm debating between two places. It's either going to get Chinese food or going to this other restaurant that me and my that me and my parents actually love to go to together. They actually have a really great Caesar salad that I love. Like I'm in love with it. I'm really leaning towards going there because it's just so good. Like I could eat it every day. Let's go out. I'm 
gonna get that little frozen drink and I'm gonna get my Caesar salad. Yo, I'm on a date, kinda nervous. Oh, I am nervous because everybody keeps looking at me because I'm by myself. This is literally the first time I've ever came to sit out to eat by myself. And it's going good so far. They didn't want to give me a booth at first, but I told them I wanted a booth. And like, nobody in here, so why can't I get a booth? But this is my first time, and everybody keeps staring at me. And then on top of that, I have my camera sitting right here, so of course they really staring at me. But this is definitely getting out of my comfort zone. I gotta show y'all a better So y'all, so I'm finishing what I said I was gonna do yesterday. I didn't forget, and I'm not gonna go out and not do what I said I was gonna do. So right now, I am literally at Target. I just put up at Target, so I'm about to go in here and get these champagne bottles so I can write my goals on there because I ain't trying to wait till the middle of the year to write my goals on the champagne bottles. So this sun is bright. I feel like I can't even see myself for real. But yeah, y'all. So we's at Target. So I'm about to go in here. Hopefully they even have them in stock because I'm just gonna get like the little like mini ones. So like I could just have the little mini ones in the fridge. I'm just gonna get a four pack and I'm gonna, and I'm right four different goals. So yeah, let's go. Put the bitches in my third trimester Shift eyes, they tell me you're lying Don't care, just lay them inside me Hey time, chasing the rewind Hey time I need more space I think I'm gonna get these ones just because they pink Literally just because they pink secure at the bag all right like we got our little champagne bottles they are so cute i definitely only got these because they're pink yes i got them because they're pink you should already know this and like they're so cute like they're little like mini bottles like this is like the cutest thing i have ever seen I feel like everything is just always better when it's in mini form. Like, you can't tell me otherwise. Like, everything that's in mini form is just way better than the actual real thing. It's too freaking cute. So, now when I get home, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write down... Um, I'm, I'm going to write down my goals on them and we'll go from there. But right now, I'm actually about to go give me a seafood boil, y'all. I'm debating on a couple places right now because, you know, I'm still new to Houston, so I really don't know all the food places out here yet. So I'm debating between these two places that I saw on TikTok. One was called Juicy Crab, and the other one was called Twin Crab. And then I just found out that there's actually a Kicking Crab out here. And mind you, I've been to Kicking Crab, but only in California. I feel like I should go there because I already know I love Kicking Crab, but I don't know how it tastes out here. But I feel like it got to taste better in Houston, right? So, I don't know. I'm in between those three places right now. So, I'm trying to think. But, yeah, I'm going to go and get me a seafood boil. Because I haven't had one since I touched down in Houston. 
And I've been fiending for a seafood quill real bad. I'm here about to go get my seafood boil period and y'all they had a special for buy a pound of crabs get a half a pound for free say what <laughs> this has been my favorite thing I can't stop it y'all period I never tried this place so let's see what it's hidden for we gonna see I'm not eating here though I'm taking it home okay period and y'all, like, honestly, y'all, for what I got, I feel like this was a really good price. Like, that was a real good price. I was expecting it to be more. But, yeah, this is the little bag. It's super cute. Like, K-Twin Crab? Okay, Twin Crab? Let me not get too excited because I'm getting too excited because I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> it's going to be so fucking amazing, balls. Okay, so it's actually a new day and <laughs> I failed. I failed. Okay, because one, I ended up going to get my friend yesterday and it was just a lot of stuff going on. I had to almost take her to the emergency room. There was a lot going on, right? But also I was trying to record eating my seafood boil on my phone and my camera, but I kind of forgot to do my camera part and I only did the phone. For real. And I didn't actually finish eating my crab boil, so I am gonna finish it. So I might just record me like finishing my crab boil for y'all. Because I only record it like vertically on my phone. So but it was good. It was good, I'm not gonna lie. And I actually didn't write my goals yet on here because it was so much going on and I kinda wanted to be like in a great space to do that. I don't wanna just write them down and just try to rush the process because this is actually something that's gonna be, something that's meaningful to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So literally we have our little Corbo bottles and I'm going to write down my goals. So I'm only gonna do four goals right now. Um, so one goal for each bottle, so then I'll pop um, the bottle. Um, I don't think I'm going to tell you all my goals that I'm going to write down because I'm kind of looking at this as like making a wish, you know, and like when you make a wish, you're not going to tell people because it's not going to come true. Right. And they're not going to be like, just like crazy, crazy things, um, like, um, two short term and then two long term goals basically but hopefully all of them will be short term and none of them are long term let's be honest <laughs> so yeah but in my eyes i'm just doing like i'm gonna do like two little goals two bigger goals so i got my marker right here I, i'm trying to figure out like how i'm gonna do this i think um because the outside of mine is white right here i think i'm just gonna write it like on the top on the cap i'm gonna store them in the back of my fridge and nobody better not touch them because my friends be coming in here. Like even like she saw my champagne bottles in the car yesterday and she was like, oh, you got us some champagne? I'm like, no, I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to write my goals. Let's see. I wrote all of my goals on here. I'm gonna show y'all what y'all can see because I wrote my goals on the back of the bottle and then on the front of the bottle, I wrote me like a little inspirational message. So like this one says, I don't know if you can't see it, but this one says, bitch, look at you doing big, big shit. This one says, standing on big business. This one says, bitch, you did it. I don't know why I love referring to myself as bitch. But like, it's just like, it's a little bit more emphasis. It's like, yeah, bitch, like you really did that. Like, bitch is like a positive word in my eyes, like now. Okay, and then this one just says, keep going with the heart. Yeah, so now I'm gonna just put them in the fridge. I kind of already just smudged one, but we know what to say. 
Now, I'm not gonna eat my seafood bowl right now because I'm not that hungry right now, but like in probably like a couple hours, I'll eat it. Okay, so I got my seafood boil. Like even though I didn't do it yesterday like I was supposed to, like we get it done. So I got my seafood boil. I low key just put the whole thing in the microwave because I didn't feel like put it in the bowl. I wanted to just keep it in the bag. But I think like it microwave, eh, I think it microwave better in the microwave. But got my butter. Y'all, this is so good. I definitely recommend for y'all to go here. It's called Twin Crab in Houston, Texas. I went to the one in Richmond. Because everybody kept saying that one was a good one. Okay, I need to warm my corn up separate because my corn didn't get all the way. Okay. Y'all know what I should've did? Ooh, look at all that smoke. I saw this girl who literally, I should've put some some noodles in there. I should've put some noodles in here. That would've been good. These corns is hot. I think I warmed it up too much. Shit. I love when it comes out like perfect like this. Make you wanna, I don't know. That's better than sex right there. All right, I'm done. And I'm so cool. Now I'm about to wash my hands and stuff and fix myself. Really concludes this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video or whatever I decide to call it. But a little time in my life, I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure that you like and comment on this video. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers. Please. We need to get to monetization level, babes. So we're trying to get to 500 subs. So if you want to be a part of that, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share it if you want to. Tell your friends. Tell your mama. Tell whatever. But yeah. Bye.